week starts on Thursday. That means for the next week, you'll get to experience delicious food from area restaurants at discounted prices. And Pauline is checking out a newcomer to this annual tradition. Good morning, Pauline. Good morning. Yeah, Grapevine Cafe, first time participating. And check out what some of the dishes are on the menu. We are back with Chef Steve. So, Chef Steve, go ahead and just tell us. Let's start with this one. What is okay. this one over here? Thanks, Pauline. Uh, this is our apple harvest salad. We got some uh, roasted chicken, uh, fresh strawberries, some apples, pecans, craisins, and some blue cheese. You were telling me earlier this is a popular one. Yes, it used to yeah. be on our menu. We featured a lot on Saturday afternoons, and that is served with a uh, raspberry vinaigrette. Oh, it looks delicious. This was the one that we prepared last yep. hour. What is that one? That's the blackened pork loin chop with mm -hmm. the fingerling potatoes, arugula, and uh, southwest relish. And this one's on the dinner menu. That'll be on the, yeah, we'll be featuring that during restaurant week on the dinner menu. Gotcha. Let's move on to this one. This one is so colorful. Yes, I love it. We got a duet of salads there. We got a crab shrimp salad, a little dill, some scallion, mm -hmm. and a little red pepper in there. And then we have a fire braised chicken. It's got some coconut, a little apple and some cashew in there and a little curry flavor too. We were asking, what is fire, fire braised? Well, it's, it's actually braised on over an open fire, so it's okay. got a nice smoky flavor to it. Mmm, mm-hmm, love it. Let's move on to this one. Uh, it's a spinach artichoke dip mm -hmm. with uh, blue corn tortillas. It's okay. one of our appetizers we'll be featuring. Gotcha, and these two? Uh, we got the baked French onion soup, which is the beef onion broth with some croutons and browned uh, Swiss cheese. Mm -hmm. And then we have the classic uh, bruschetta. We got oh. a garlic petard with some fresh mozzarella, mm -hmm. a little diced tomato, and a little uh, fresh basil, and a little drizzle mm -hmm. of balsamic. Good so to good. know. So Grapevine is doing two different kinds of menus for restaurant week. You're doing a lunch and a dinner? Correct. We're doing a lunch and a dinner menu. So which ones can you find on each menu? We already kind of went through it, but Actually, the appetizers? Yes. yes, this will just be on the, the dinner menu. All three appetizers will be on both menus, mm -hmm. and the two salads will be on the lunch menu. Great. Well, thank you so much, okay. Steve. Well, thank you. We have Brenda here from the Green Bay Conventions and Visitors Bureau. There are more. There are nearly like 60 restaurants participating. I know. Isn't it fantastic? This is the kind of brochure that you're going to kind of find. Yeah, this Restaurant Week brochure is all over Green, Greater Green Bay. We have 58 restaurants that are participating, and, all and inside it shows exactly what they're serving. So if they're serving a lunch mm. or a dinner, you'll be able to look inside this, this brochure. But online, you can see all the menus. Ah. So uh, <laughs> gbrestaurantweek.com is where you want to go. You can see every single menu that, that it's just don't do it while you're hungry. <laughs> That's really one of those things that you can't do. Um, Sounds good. But you can make some decisions about where you might want to go to eat mm -hmm. and whether or not you're going to take your kids or if it's going to be a date night and mm -hmm. or girlfriend yeah. uh, lunchtime so and then make your reservations because I think that's really really important for this year's restaurant week very popular <laughs> last yeah. year and I think that's something that we should probably think about for this year well thank you so much and go to our website fox11online.com we have all the information there we're headed to one more stop coming up in the eight o'clock hour all right good thanks Pauline.